So, ladies and gentlemen, um, hey, there's no gentleman here today. Look at that. You know what I told you guys about my first job? Yeah. I'll say it a little bit. My first interview. Yeah, it's on video. It's okay. My first interview, though, was in a school in Jacksonville. And before I even hired, before I even accepted out of Mandarin, they asked me, the only position that I had open was for a math teacher, but it was for like the early like pregnancy. So it was like for all the girls in the city, like that would, you know, that were having a baby, that I would be like their math teacher. So, you know, I'm just fresh out of college. Just fresh out of college and they say, oh, you know, do you think that would be a good fit? And I'm just like, sure. A classroom full of ladies, the women that are all ready to have a baby, that sounds like a good idea. Unfortunately, they didn't give me a call back, so I wound up here. Are you anyways, right now? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought it'd be a fun <laughs> intro, I guess. So anyways, um, so we're given the vertices, negative six, or plus or minus six, comma zero, and the foci is plus or minus two, comma zero. And, then, and I'm asking you to write the equation. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember the parabolas when I said I was getting the information? The first thing I said is just, you, you, there's only two um, equations. It's either opens up or down or left and right, right? <coughs> The only way to figure that out is to plot the information and see what's going to make sense. Exact same thing with this. So let's just plot the information and see what makes sense. So our vertices are plus or minus 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Foci plus 2, negative 2. So we have foci, foci, vertice, vertice. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, there's only two ellipses that we're dealing with. One that's vertical and one that's horizontal. Now, just out of, I don't know, a random guess, if you were to say this is a, these are the points of one of these ellipses, do you, would you recognize that it to be a ellipse where your major axis is vertical or where your major axis is horizontal? Horizontal, horizontal right? It's pretty obvious. You can notice that, you know that the vertices, the foci, all have to be on the major axis. And since this major axis, is going horizontally, then you have a horizontal ellipse, right? So let's just eliminate this right here. All right, now, remember, when we're looking at this, if I give you the vertices and the foci, remember, the vertices and the foci are plus or minus the same distance from your center, right? If I say your vertice is six units to the right, then it was also six units to the left, correct? So therefore, what is going to be our center? Because we need to figure out what the center is. It's always 0, 0. In this case, the center is 0, 0. Yes? No, the, oh, the problem they actually say said? It starts from the oh, that's nice. You're right. They do say the center is the origin. So that's good. Good. Right, you're right. Because all the way up to 35, and then they change it to 9. Okay. So we have the center is 0, 0. So that helps us because now when we write our equation, we know our formal was x minus h for a horizontal, then it would be a squared, plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. However, do we have an h and a k? Yeah, they're 0, right? So now we can just say x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Okay, so now let's just go and see if we can figure out what our a and b are. Remember, a is going to be this distance, right? Doesn't matter if it's going to be your positive or your negative. What is this distance? What is this distance squared? Well, the distance was 6, plus or minus 6. You square a negative 6, you square a positive 6. It doesn't matter. You're going to get Now, with our problem is we don't know what b squared is, right? But the other information they gave us was they gave us c. And we remember we talked about a, b, and c are related to each other, where we can say a squared equals b squared plus c squared. So if I know a squared is 36 equals b squared plus c squared, so c is 2, so c squared is going to be 4, minus 4, I get 32 equals b squared. Square root, square root, b equals plus or minus. Take the, um, simplify this into 4 radical 2. 
Yes? But we don't need to do that, right? Because all they're asking us is what is b squared. So we can just leave it like that. b squared equals 32. Okay? Because remember, you're looking for b squared. So we don't need to solve for b. We just need to know what b squared is. So if it's your answer. So in the like standard form of like that graph, where is b? Again. Where is b? Yes. Is it? No, 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 no. In the graph, like the relationships. Oh. B is your distance. These are like if you call this like a major vertice, you call this like a minor vertice. It's just it's where the it's like the minor vertices on the minor axis. All right. Any last questions? Okay, so now let's do one without a 